Hello my YouTube friends, it's me, your old buddy Magnum over here at Magnum Videos. Those of you who have uh, kept up with me over the last three years know that I have been carrying the Walther PPK. It's a small, uh, somewhat heavy, solid frame um, 380 with a six round magazine capacity. I have recently switched, and a lot of you know this too, to the Beretta PX4 uh, subcompact. This is a 9mm 13 round and not a great deal heavier than the PPK. I've been carrying it for about a month now. I'm very happy with it. It's not excessively heavy or cumbersome. So I'm going to be carrying that over the winter. Meanwhile, we need to get the PPK uh, ready to go into winter storage. And I want to show you today how I'm going to do that. First of all, we've got uh, our magazines. We're going to unload those. And we're going to put these rounds in a little plastic bag for range use. Next spring. Okay, so we're going to make the gun safe. All right, got that done. Now we're going to put a little bit of oil on the magazine, both magazines, just for preservation. Uh, the magazines are relatively clean. There's there's hardly any uh, residue on those at all. So they should be good to go. We have cleaned the gun the last time we brought it from the range. Uh, it had a thorough cleaning. So we're not going to do a great deal uh, as far as cleaning the PPK itself. But we are going to um, take it apart and put a little bit of lubricant on it for its winter storage. I use a um, ProShot Pro Gold Grease. And I usually put that on the slide channels, on the frame, and also where it meets um, the same surfaces on the slide. Uh, it, it already has oil on it, so I'm not going to continue that uh, process. I'm not going to add any more. But there is one other thing I wanted to show you while we've got this out. Being a carry gun, it does get uh, a little bit of uh, marring on it. And there's a specific area on the slide, I don't know if you can see that or not, where where there are some little imperfections right along in here. Can you see those? Okay, what I what I do with that, because I don't like things that are all marred up, I put a little bit of uh, gun oil on here. And there's just a couple of couple of little areas there and some 600 grit sandpaper. This is very fine. And I've done this multiple times, and it doesn't harm anything. And we just do a little bit of rubbing on there. And within two shakes of a lamb's tail, we have it pretty well taken care of. 
I don't know if those are from uh, the cartridge ejection when they, they hit the metal on the way out, or if it's just from being carried and uh, rubbing against things. Not sure. But anyway, there we have it. Much better. No nicks any longer. I will run just a little bit of oil down the exterior of the barrel here. Turn the spring. And from that from that point on, we should be good to go for the winter. So there you have it. I'm going to leave the the rosewood grips on here. I do have the black stock grips that uh, came with it, but uh, we will leave those on for winter and we'll put it away and it'll be safe and we'll get it out again next spring. So until I speak with you again and even after that, you stay safe.